The purpose of this video is to go over bug, debug, and program tracing. First, let's talk about bug. What is a computer bug? By definition, a computer bug is an error, a flaw, or fault in a computer program or system that causes it to produce an incorrect or unexpected result, or to behave in unintended ways. For example, let's go ahead and identify some bugs in this program. A good thing about using the online editor is that microbit JavaScript does have a debugging tool built in, located on the left side of the screen below the microbit simulation. It tells you how many errors you have in your code, in this instance three, and on which line. So according to this, we have three bugs in our program located on line number three, line number six, and line number eight. For line number three, cannot find the name random. There is no quick fixes. For line number six, cannot find the name tails. There is no quick fixes as well. And for line number eight, um, the argument type of heads is not assignable to any parameter of type number. Great. Now that you know the definition of bugs and you have identified the bugs in your program, let's go ahead and talk about debug. Debug is the total opposite of bug. So by definition, debugging is the act of determining what changes could be made to the program in order to complete the task. These changes might include adding, deleting, rearranging, changing a step in order to obtain the intended outcome. So let's go ahead and debug this program. Some mistake in programming for beginners mostly include syntax issues and can be fixed quite easily. For example, you can add some brackets, take a look at your parentheses, quotation marks, capitalizing letters, etc. In this instance, because we have three bugs, let's go ahead and debug them one to one. Um, first, number, first line, number three, x equal random 0 to 1. So the purpose of this line is to assign a randomized value from 0 to 1 to x. Great. Random is not the correct syntax to apply a randomized value. It's actually rand int. So if you type that in, the error is going to be gone. The explorer now tell us that we only have two more bugs in the system. Great. So we just fix that. Let's move on to line number six, basic show string tails. So the purpose of line number six is if the x, the value of x is equal to zero, it's going to show tails on the screen. Well, the syntax here looks correct, basic dot show string, open the bracket, tails. You need quotation marks in there in order to identify it as a string. So we add quotation marks in, and now the mistake is gone. According to the debugger, we have one mistake left on line number eight. Great, which is fix number six. The purpose of line number eight is the exact same, so-so, as line number five and six, which means if x is equal to one instead of zero, it's going to show heads. Basic show number heads. Um, there is nothing wrong with this syntax beside the fact that heads right over here is a string and not a number so we have two ways to fix this either we can change heads from a string to a number for example zero the mistake is going to be gone now perfect so we have no bug in the system or you can change if you want to keep the head on then you have to change this number into a string Two ways to fix that. Perfect. Now we have zero bug in our system. Lastly, now that our program is fixed, uh, let's go on and trace the program. What is tracing? Tracing by definition is reading through the commands using paper and pencil, predicting what the code will do. Tracing can help predict the outcome or the output of your program even before you code it. Think of tracing as the flow of control, but instead from the perspective of the programmer, so from your perspective, instead of the perspective of the computer. For this particular program, we're going to use flow, um, flow charge to trace the program. The tracing of it would be, I'm going to show the flow chart on the screen. Let's go from top to bottom. Let x equal 0, while true, x is going to be randomized from 0 to 1 if you shake the microbit, so if input is gesture, gesture, shake, 
And below that is if the x is equal to 0, it's going to show tails. Else, meaning the x is equal to 1, it's going to show heads. So the tracing for this program, located over here, is going to be start. x is going to be randomized from 0 to 1, great, which is x randomized 0, 1. Input shake, which is the if input is gesture shake, is x equal to 0 which mean if x is equal to 0, if, if that is true, then display tails right over here. If that is false, however, meaning else, then display heads. Great. After these lines, so after line number 9 is completed, you can see both of these loop all the way back to x equal to randomize 0 or 1, which loop all the way back to the while true loop. And of course, this is just one example of tracing. Um, this is called flow charge. There are many ways to do tracing. According to the definition, you can of course use paper and pencil and just trace it that way, predicting the outcome. That will wrap up the video for today for bug, debug, and tracing.